A tank is three-fifths full of water. When 500 milliliter of water is poured out, the tank is half full. Find the capacity of the tank in liters. Uh, we are going to use a vi visual technique to solve this problem. We are talking about fractions like three-fifths and one-half. Uh, <coughs> you need to keep those things straight. We also want to know the relationship between milliliter and liter and the relationship is, let's erase everything, so we do know that one liter is a thousand milliliter, so we're going to use it in our problem, we'll have to keep it straight. All right, what we have here is a 2 by 5 rectangle. Why do we use a 2 by 5 rectangle to represent the entire tank? This is my entire tank. We're going to explain that. The reason a 2 by 5 rectang uh, rectangle is ideal is because I get 2 by 5 from the two denominators. And why does it work? Well, if my rectangle has five parts, I can express three-fifths conveniently. If my rectangle has two parts, or my rectangle can be split into two parts, I can express halves conveniently. So this is one-half. Erase everything. This is one-fifth. This is two-fifths. This is three-fifths. Uh, of course, half, this is always half. Half is easy to visualize. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of the question. So you want to make sure the question is handy. Uh, and you want to remember the facts of the question uh, so that we can follow the solution. So let's move on. OK. So the tank is 3 fifths full. This is 3 fifths. And 500 milliliters of water was poured out and the tank was only half full. So this is half. So what happened when I moved from three-fifths to one-half? I lost 500 ml and I also lost one square. This is the square that's missing. So that tells me one square of my tank, and well, clearly one square is a tenth, a tenth of my tank is 500 ml. This is an important fact that we can get from our, from the context of our problem and from the picture. Let's erase everything. So we concluded that each square is 500 ml, and that tells me that two squares is a thousand ml or one liter. So if this is 500, this is 500, this is 1,000 milliliters, and 1,000 milliliters is 1 liter. Now we are almost done. If this is 1 liter, the whole tank should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The whole tank has to be 5 liters. That's my answer.